Agenda item 7E, FY 2013 EMPG Response and Recovery Award application. Mr. Ty. Good morning. We prefer to call it an award, not a grant. Um, each year, GEMA makes available this uh, EMPG Response and Recovery Award. In the past, we've used that. Most of the furniture at the EOC has been purchased using this particular award funding. Uh, the computers, the telephones, those type things. <coughs> so this year, <coughs> we're requesting um, to submit a uh, an application for the purchase of um, some uh, laptops and tablets. The, pur the purpose of those is recently we um, last year we developed a continuity of government plan to make sure that if in the event of some disaster, we'd be able to maintain essential services. And one of the things is um, making sure each of the, some of the key personnel and key departments would have the ability to kind of very quickly pick up and relocate to another position. Laptops or, or you know, having all your stuff on a laptop that's pretty mobile would be a, um, a very, very good way to do that. So we want to, um, a lot of the computers need to be replaced anyway. So while we're replacing them, we'll use this funding to, um, to provide laptops for, for those people we identified in the plan and also um, provide some, purchase some tablets for the engineering department um, that they would obviously, uh, in, in speaking with, with Mr. Fletcher, that would be, uh, they'd be able to use them day to day to help in, improve their functions. But the real purpose of getting them through the grant is when we do have something, uh, a lot of his staff goes out, they're surveying roads, bridges, helping us with our damage assessment. So it would allow, give them the opportunity to fill out some of those damage assessment forms we have to submit to GEMA, take pictures out in the field, and send them back to the EOC kind of in real time so we get a better, um, better um, picture of what's going on out there and kind of know what, what resources we need and where they need to go. So the, what we're requesting is just permission for, to uh, submit this application. So I'd be glad to answer any questions you might have on that. Any questions for Mr. Tuck? Yeah. Um, Besides your department in um, engineering, would there be any other departments that would use this, like sheriff's department or any? No, sir. The emergency um, department. I, I can provide. I can go back and, and provide you a list of, of which departments would get the would get the laptops. Um, I have them written down. I'm, I apologize. I don't remember them off all right off the top of my head, but I know like uh, um, you know the, the the fire chief. Um, you know, basically all the departments, um, you know, we would need, you know, public works is going to need to, to be able to be maintained. Um, you know, and some of, the, some of the departments already have laptops, so they, they weren't needed to be included. But, you know, we would need to be able to, to people to come pay their bills. We would need um, engineering, planning and zoning. Um, basically, each of the departments would need at least one person that, you know, to keep us from being completely shut down, we could, you know, if something happened in this building, we couldn't. We, you know, we couldn't operate out of this building. We could really relocate to the Civic Center or any other building we identify, and they'd be able to kind of take their laptop. You know, uh, Aaron can can would be able to get them connectivity pretty quickly. And once you've got internet access, you can at least you know keep some of those essential government services going so that um, you know the, we're not completely shut down. Citizens do have the ability to get some of that. But uh, the, but the sheriff's department really, you know, I mean they're they're they have they have computers in their in all their cars, so I mean they're they're pretty pretty self sufficient. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you, sir. Agenda item 